For today's project, we have a parabolic air heater, sort of. So this is a 55 gallon drum with the face cut off of it. Inside are four feet of a four inch aluminum vent tubing I got from the Home Depot. The reflector, which I know is not technically parabolic, is a couple of pieces of poster board put together with some uh, mylar reflective film uh, adhesed to the front to act as a mirror. I know it's not perfect. It's the best I can do for a prototype. And then I've got a piece of plastic over the top to hold the hot air in. And as you can see, I've got my little cardboard enclosure and my Dr. Pepper. And right here is a little 120 millimeter case fan to help the air circulate. It's been running for about an hour and a half right now. It is 72 degrees air temperature outside. Inside the box is 84 and climbing. Inside the tube is 107 and climbing. I know that there are a lot of deficiencies with this. There's, it's certainly not airtight. And there's lots of room for improvement, but it's an interesting proof of concept, huh? Thanks. Okay, let me walk you through what I've done, and then I'll show you some build video. So I've taken a 55-gallon drum, cut it in half, uh, taken some uh, cardboard poster board, made a big sheet on the inside, covered it with uh, some reflective mylar, and glued that to the inside of the barrel. I know that's not a perfect parabolic shape. It's the best that I can do. Uh, cut two four-inch holes around the outside, took uh, some aluminum vent tube from Home Depot, riveted with my rivet gun uh, some other aluminum on the inside and bent them perpendicular so you've got the, the tube with a bar in the middle to try to increase the surface area. Painted the whole thing black, put it through the barrel, covered the open face of the barrel with a plastic sheet and used double stick tape around the perimeter to try to make it as airtight as I could. I know it's not perfect. And then uh, I have this 120 millimeter case band running off a little battery connected with some dryer vent to a cardboard box. It's about two feet by two feet by four feet came with my mattress. And so the fan is pushing air from the box through the cardboard or through the barrel that is being heated by the sun and then those perpendicular fans are helping to increase the surface area and the plastic sheeting is holding the hot air in as you saw in the video so the outside air temperature is about 71 degrees right now inside the barrel is over a hundred inside the box is over 83 degrees. So where would you use this? use this? You could use this in a greenhouse, in a small greenhouse, uh, where you have sun, but the air temperature is cold. So this would help circulate the air while also heating it while using very, very little electricity. I know there's a lot of leaks in this. This is just a proof of concept. So I'd love to see, see someone take this idea and do it right, make a true parabolic shape, seal all the air holes on the side, and see what this thing really does. So uh, I'm going to show you some build video from the construction process here next. Uh, but if you like this idea, drop a comment down below and hit subscribe. Hey, thanks. Just cutting this thing in half down the center. And marking the exact center so I can put the hole for the pivot. So 23. Now there's actually a seam running down along the edge, which is great. I'm going to back off two inches all the way around so I can have a lip to work with. Just see this before I start cutting on it. So I've got this line, it's about two inches from the inside. So I'm going to take this piece and cut it out. The best way to do that is to drill holes in the corner to give the jigsaw something to get into.
And there it is. So I've got my rivet gun and my aluminum. What I've done is I've create, created a fin in the middle. So when I curl the edges up, there'll be more surface area for the heat to come across, just like a heat sink. So we'll see what happens. And it's not pretty, but I've increased the surface area for the heat to, for the hot air to go across.